Welcome to session 12 of the demo, a comprehensive guide to implementing internal requisitions and internal sales order cycle in R12. In session 12, we import the order that was created in the order management interface by interfacing the internal requisition from the purchasing side. We then review the internal order to validate that it carries all the details from the internal requisition. Click the start demo button to commence. For this session, we use the order management super user responsibility that comes seated with Oracle applications. This responsibility gives the user access to all menus and functions within order management and shipping. In this session, we pick up the thread from the internal requisition that got interfaced in the order management interface tables. Now, we will import the order from the interface table and review the internal order that gets created as a result. The create internal order process populates records for internal requisitions into the OE headers and lines interface tables for order source equal to internal. Therefore, to filter the internal requisitions, we will pick the order source as internal. The order source for internal requisitions was set to internal in a setup on the purchasing side. With the order source selected as internal, the order reference field will bring up a list of internal requisitions waiting in the OE interface tables to be imported into the order management base tables. We select the internal requisition that we have created for our test cycle. If the order import process spawns a child request, then we know that the import process is progressing as expected. If the child request is not generated, it could mean that order import did not pick up any lines in the interface tables to process. This may be due to the data in the interface tables being set incorrectly or due to the user selecting incorrect parameter values when running the concurrent request, like selecting the wrong order source value. Let us review the output of the order import child request. The numbers here indicate that the order import process has been successful. The internal requisition we imported got converted into an internal order. Let us review the imported order. We will retrieve the internal order using the internal requisition number. This is our internal sales order. The internal customer we had created in a separate demo displays here. This is the internal ship to location that we had assigned 
to this customer. The order type is internal. This is based on the setup we reviewed in a separate demo in purchasing options. The internal order gets created in booked status. This brings us to the end of this session.